Andrea Waddell here, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about overworking a painting, wishing you'd stopped sooner, why that happens, and what to do when it does happen and it's a common thing. I started this uh, sketch with a blind contour drawing. So I was looking at a source image and looking at the image, not looking at what I was drawing as I was drawing it and got some really alive, interesting lines. And um, basically that could have been a composition right there, but I wanted to add to it. So I am mixing up some colors and color matching, looking at the image, building up a gray and um, building up the palette based on all of the colors. That was mistake number one of trying to pull in all the colors from the image, starting with the gray and finding that hard edge right there at the bottom. I thought that was the first thing that pulled my eye was that beautiful kind of purpley light gray. And I was also really attracted to the light blue of those doors and windows. So I'm going to add that next looking at my source image and just grabbing details and just loosely interpreting those shapes, pulling into it, which you can do when you're working with acrylic, if you do it really wet on wet right away. And this would have been an interesting composition right here and a potentially a good stopping place to say the composition's done. And I'm just going to work on colors from here, but I am not feeling done as I'm doing this. I'm also not stepping away from it enough to really know what I'm doing, which is also another mistake of trying to source too much from an image, picking up too much detail, adding too many of the colors that you're looking at, not being a selective enough and not stepping back from it enough. And I think another issue that happens when we overwork something, uh, here I'm adding some Indian ink uh, and a stick and just adding in some line work and trying to keep that vibrant line quality that I had going with the initial contour, blind contour drawing. But I think what happens when we do overwork something is um, we're really, we're not taking the time to be more selective. And perhaps also there's this idea that you have to keep painting and keep painting and keep painting. And it takes time and it takes layers. Whereas sometimes it's right out of the gate. The composition is right there, right out of the gate. And there's this illusion that you have to keep going. So that's what I am doing here. All of the above, lots of colors, not stepping back, wanting to do more, was also working when I was a little bit tired. So didn't, not, not on my best, my best, in my best shape. But this too right here could have been a cool composition. You know, structurally, it's got some interesting lines, some negative shape, um, color correcting that would have needed to have happened. But it's, it's interesting as an abstraction of a source image where I was, was you know, trying to focus on the chair, on the windows, without just suggesting it, without being too literal. And my original impulse was to really zero in on the flooring and the the line, the lines and the colors of the floor. And that was the downfall of this particular sketch exercise. The downfall was that wasn't probably the best choice. And then I also made a choice where I really had the chair as the major focal point, but you'll see, I will get there. And this will serve as a great exercise for the painting that's going to follow. So keep watching. So you will see how this turns out to really inform my next painting, um, which really came out great but we're not there yet. We're adding detail. I'm trying to get some light in the light from the bot, from that beautiful, um, blue door. 
trying to pull in some of the lines from those window panes and I'm looking at that. I thought that was kind of cool. Those square like shapes. I could have stopped here and done another blind contour drawing with my brush, but instead I'm going to try to find the line, that sort of dark uh, value of the chair right there. Maybe I could have stopped here and kept, you know, working at this as an abstraction of that image, but I'm going to start becoming too literal and that's going to be a problem. So now I'm, I'm kind of creating a, sh a, a chair like shape and it's really big and it's right in the middle and it's, you know, let's just say it's not working. I could have eliminated everything around it and had it be all about that. And that could have worked adding some texture to it. But at this point, the layers before this were more interesting. And so I am remembering that. I am remembering that I really liked the, the much earlier version. And so that's going into my mind, even as I'm working. I did like those sort of jewel-like quality of that beautiful red. And I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to start adding more red, more pink. I'm going to try to work that, the flooring, add some little bit of pink. Oh no, it's the pink. It's that sort of pink cushion like shape. Now I get into the floor and yeah, things start going a little sideways here. But I do remember for the next one that, okay, I liked the idea of those hard edged lines. I liked the idea of blind contour drawing. I liked how that kind of worked together, but especially the line work. I'm going to remember that for the next one, but now I'm adding too much color, the yellow. You could see, here we go. Here is a perfect example of totally overworking it. I'm adding everything, every single little detail uh, from the image. And I'd say a rule of thumb is just choose three things, maybe four. I'm sure you know what this feels like. We're going more and more and I'm adding more and more and I'm not stepping away from it. I'm making all the mistakes. I'm doing all the things. I could have just added a layer of white on top of this and started all over again. But instead I used it to create this. And this is a, a painting that is 36 um, by 36 inches. And what I did in this case is I remembered what it felt like making the sketch and I pulled in the lines. So the lines from the window panes and then the chair, instead of being so central, it really became just a small anecdote to the side. And that works so much better. And I also went for a much more limited palette because I saw what happened when I tried to add way too much, a limited palette. And it worked much, much better. And this was picked up and um, went into a show and really did very well. So the moral of this story is when you are overworking something, try to overwork it in a sketch if possible. If you're going to work big, start with a sketch and, you know, get it out of your system, add all the details that you want in that sketch. But if you're jumping straight to the big painting or a piece that you really want to be reflective of it, something that you are sourcing from, be selective, be selective in the shapes, in what you're, the, the details that you're pulling in and also choose maybe three to four colors and it should work out pretty well if you do it that way. This is Andrea Waddell. I hope you got something from watching this video and I will see you next time.